In this video, we'll go over all of the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. Artifact Appearances After Legion Blizzard announced that most artifact appearances will be obtainable after Legion is over, which is a step up from when they said none of them would be. So far, they've only really said that the Mage Tower appearances are the only ones staying Legion only. They also announced some fixes to obtaining appearances that are normally very hard to get, like obtaining RBG appearances on specs that are never used in Raided Battlegrounds, like Prop Paladins. This was all actually announced the previous week, I just skipped over it by mistake in my notes. The Frightened World scenario, where you help out Magni and Sholzar, is live. I already tested it on the PTR myself, and it's basically an introduction to why Magni even comes with us to Argus, which turns out to be a, a major plot point in the Argus raid, spoilers. So really important stuff for Lord nerds to check out. Uh, I thought it was going to come out when the new patch came out, but apparently it's a, it's a pre-patch scenario, which uh, actually makes a lot of sense. Dungeons in 7.3 will increase in difficulty and reward better loot. All three modes will have a 20 item level increase in reward with Normal giving 845 instead of 820, Heroic giving 865 instead of 845, and etc. I'm also pretty sure they're increasing the rewards of Mythic Plus dungeons as well, but I've read that that might just be for the PTR. But whatever the case, brace yourself for harder Mythic Plus dungeons just in case. So if you can tackle like a plus 15 no problem now, it might be a little bit harder after the patch hits. Speaking of dungeons, the weekly bonus event for this week is Dungeons. A chance at extra loot from dungeon bosses, plus a weekly quest to complete four mythics. Legion PvP Season 4 is ending soon. No exact date yet, but most likely within a month. Blizzard usually announces the end of the season, and then a few weeks before the actual end they'll give an exact date. This could also mean the new patch might be coming out soon since PvP seasons sometimes line up with other major events in the game. The Netherlight Crucible got some clarifications in the past week, as it was a pretty confusing concept that's still not 100% implemented correctly in the PTR. Basically, the Crucible would be like reforging, but for relics. You put a relic in and you get to choose a second trait to add to it, but you are limited to three random traits to choose from. Even if it's just three random ones, it can still turn an otherwise useless high level relic into a, a more useful one. And it also allows you to pick one other buff that is random as well. But those all generally increase your damage or survivability in some way. You also unlock new talent tier rows when your artifact level increases. So you probably won't be able to choose all the new buffs for your relic right away once you unlock it. And with that, I'll see you all next week.